So, oh, back in the fish room again, making some changes. Um, this time, uh, if you've been watching for a while, you may have remembered this system here used to be on a, a sump. So we had three tanks here, three tanks there, and a sump underneath. Um, but then I changed it so as I could have independent tanks all in different temperatures, all at different water parameters, etc. But I got fed up with the water changes. So I'm now changing it back, but not to a sump, still individual tanks but I want to set up an uh, automatic water change so what I've done is set up some pipe work here which will lead round to the drain which is just down here and then into each tank I've got a tank connector which you probably can't see up here coming out of the tank into this little hose into there and through and then all I've got here is this little connector with a bit of tubing which will drop into these things so I'll go ahead and fit another one of these and then what I've got here is over on the side is my HMA water filter which purifies all the water coming in I'll get some drips set up to each individual tank which will overflow very slowly into these and change as much water as I wanted to change each time so it should just be a simple case of fitting tank connector. Uh, let's see how I'm just testing it to make sure it's watertight. Turn that off. All we need to do is find the other bit of this. Tank connector in. Um, I don't know if this is backwards or forwards, but I'm doing it that way around so that I can twist this to set the water level where I want it. So, that's it. I'll come back when I've set up the rest of them. This is stage two. This is the spaghetti junction of drip tips. Um, so I've got six individual tips all put together with airline and these connectors, which I need to hook up to that HMA again. And um, we've got all these off Amazon for about three quid for ten. And now to see if I've made all my cuts the right size and we've got all up. And there's a quick lesson on what not to do. So when you're pushing these bits in, or when I was pushing these bits in, what I've been trying to do is grab it from both sides and squeeze. Obviously on that one I did a bit too much pushing from this side and smashed the glass. Nice big crack all the way down there. Luckily I had a free tank over here and got everything out super fast. But that's annoying. And there we go, everything back up and running. A quick run through. We've got still a bit dirty that tank, use a wipe. Um, a million Grubensis. And some Cardinals in there as well. Um, my new discus. You can see a little drip tip. Um, some more Rubensis. Jungle tank. There's still Pistogramma Agazizi in there somewhere. And some more God, Cardinals everywhere. 
hiding in that cave there, not that you can see them. And they got these. Which had to be hastily moved into this tank after I smashed the other one, like I said, showed you earlier. So, there's a set up. I'm just getting filled up now, but each of them goes into. We start up here, fill them, pour down into there, across, back there, and then down into my drain. And obviously, the other disc is in here, and then that horrible earth eater. I've got one of these LED lights, LED glow lamps here, to get the Growing at a rate of nuts. Devil's Ivy or Pothos. We'll take some nitrates out of the water. Doing a good job. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.